Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here and welcome to Try It On Tuesday. It has been requested that I bring on some brow products to help people who have thin brows and they want to um, make their brows appear fuller and thicker and so anyway I've got a couple of products here that I want to feature and one of them they're both from Benefit but you could use you know any brand that you like and uh, anyway one of them is a pomade and this is the uh, Cabral and it's in the color uh, 3 which is like a medium brown and so I've just got this brush that is like an angle and I just dip it down into the pomade and load the brush up and then so what I want to do is I want to go underneath where my natural brow line is and I want to just kind of carve out like if you're gonna you know how when you overdraw your lips you just kind of go on the outside edge well that's what I'm doing with my brows my brows are thin um, you know they've been over plucked over the years and so you know I like I, I'm not a fan of the big th bushy brow you know where you use soap or anything like that but um, I do like to use a brow pomade or else a brow pencil and so whichever one you choose to use and you just want to of course you know draw that line and get that that basic you know arch in there so you know from the bottom so and then I'm gonna go on the top I'm gonna start right here on the inward edge and I'm just gonna be careful because I don't want to disperse all the product that's on the brow brush all at one time I want it to you know go all the way across and and so the idea is to have not necessarily a really heavy amount of product right here in the front but like the middle part and you know where the arch is and then the tail itself you know for that to be really well defined and so anyhow from that point of drawing that top line then you can start to take what's left on the brush and just fill in and then right here where the arch is you can you know define that a little bit better and you can make the tail a little bit thicker and then I just go back over what I did at the beginning and just kind of pull the brow hairs you know the brush through the brow hairs kind of pull them up and just draw and fill in any sparseness that's there and I don't want to go too low or too far in with my the basic idea is to go like to the corner of your eye wherever the tear duct is straight up and that's where you want to end and then if you were to take the pencil and go at an angle from the center of your lip across the edge of your nose and the outside a uh, part of the iris of the eye that is where your arch is supposed to be and then if you want to go you know from here to the outside the outside part of your nose to the outside corner of your eye that's where the tail is supposed to end so that's the shape that you want to create if it's not there already and so you just keep you know filling it in till you get to where you feel like you've got you know your brows pretty well filled in the way that you want them to be and sometimes if my uh, brow hairs get a little bit long or kind of you know wacky and wild I may just want to brush them up just a little bit and just take a little pair of scissors and just trim you know the long ones but I'm not gonna do that today 
But anyway, when you do brush it up, you can get back up underneath there and just kind of reinforce that, that line a little bit. Now, I usually don't take this much time with my brows, but I'm taking my time and showing you step by step, you know, how to achieve a fuller brow today. So I don't, I don't want to be in a big hurry and skip over anything. So anyway, that's the basic shape. And so once you've brushed that through, brushed the product through, and you've got your brows pretty much in place, <clears throat> then you can take um, a brow gel. And I like this one from Benefit because it's tinted. So this is, again, in the shade 3, which is like a medium brown or a taupe color. And it's got just this tiny little brush. But anyway, it, it's enough product. Anyway, again, we want to start kind of like in the middle. Not the very front. You can come back to the front here in a second. And we're just going to brush through. And these have, this product here has like little fibers. And then the actual gel itself helps thicken up the brow as well. And so then at, once I've got that, I come back to the front. And this product will uh, layer up. So like if you didn't get enough on the first, you know, with the first dip or the first pass through, you could, you know, go again. And so, but I like for my neat, my brows to be um, well groomed and for them to appear somewhat natural and, but well defined. So, and I don't really have, you know, my brows are naturally so blonde that there's no frame to my face without brows. So I have to do brows. So anyway, that is how I do my brows. I'm gonna just go back and do the other one. Um, you know, just the same way that I did this one. And so, you know, and if you wanted to uh, put a little highlight, you know, underneath your brow bone, you could do that with your eyeshadow or you could do it with a uh, concealer or um, some sort of a crayon that has a highlighter, you know, on it. And uh, this one here from um, BH Cosmetics is nice. It's got like a pearl shine to it it's really pretty and then the other end is kind of a matte shade and then there's this one here by billion dollar brows that's it's made in a similar fashion and you know eyeshadow is great I, I like you I don't use brow powders too much but I do have some you know, and again, it would be pretty much the same technique as the pomade. You would just use an angled brush and just, you know, and pat the powder on. But that's another good way to make, um, you know, your brows look thicker. There's a pomade uh, from Billion Dollar Brows that's good. These, I'm just giving you ideas for products. This one's a bit too dark for me, so I have to, like, go in with an easy hand. Uh, ColourPop has one that I really like. This is in the shade uh, Dope Taupe. And I've, I like this product a lot. And But I use all kinds of brow products. It really doesn't matter to me what type of brow product it, it, that it is. You know, so much as it is, um, you know, how, how it, the color, that's number one. And then, of course, we want to you know fill them in and make them look thicker than what they are so you know and I can achieve that with just about any type of brow product you know if I use a wax pencil or um, you know and I have clear brow gels like this one here from Anastasia Beverly Hills and they work they will lay your brows down how you know but my again my eyebrows are so blonde and um, you know that I like the I like the one from Benefit better because there is a tint to it and so you know it's all a matter of preference but anyway I've used all kinds of brow pencils all kinds of brow products I go through brow products probably quicker than any other makeup item 
in my collection and uh, it seems like I go through a brow pencil or some sort of a brow product um, once every couple months or so I'm through with it and I'm ready to start another one so anyway that is my tutorial for uh, how to make your eyebrows look thicker and I hope this helps and uh, I can link these products that I use today down in the description below um, I've used some other brow pencils that are more affordable like from the drugstore uh, Wet n Wild has some decent ones um, you know it's ColourPop like I said ColourPop anyway wherever you want to shop at you know whatever, whatever kind of products you want you can use just about anything and achieve the results that you want it's just a matter of technique all right, well, that's it for me today, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to watch my video. I appreciate that. All right, God bless you today is my prayer, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.